Hurricane Katrina claimed more than 1,800 lives, and the storm and subsequent flooding displaced more than a million people in the Gulf Coast region. Roughly 80 percent of Metro New Orleans was flooded, causing $125 billion in damages. Many of those areas still not repaired, and today marks 17 years since Katrina. The children who experienced that trauma are adults now, and New Orleans educator and filmmaker Edward Buckles Jr., who was just 13 himself when the storm hit, has documented their stories for the HBO documentary film Katrina Babies, which debuted on August 24th on HBO and HBO Max. Hurricane Katrina caused one of the biggest disbursements of black people in history. After losing so much, why wouldn't anyone ask if we were okay? Nobody ever asked the children how they were doing. So I am. Such a crucial question. Joining us now is Edward Buckles, Jr. Edward, thank you so much for taking time to be with us. Yeah, ab absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. So you were just 13 when Katrina hit, and you said that it was your mother who ultimately made the decision to evacuate the family just in the nick of time. But along with many of your f peers in that storm, it changed your life. But these stories have somewhat been overlooked, so why share it now? Absolutely. I mean, you know, I think that as we are sitting here on the 17th year anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, um, I think that it's, you know, it's, 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 it's incredible how many young people um, who experienced that storm still have not spoken about it. You know, mm -hmm. this film is only doing a small piece of the justice that needs to be done and the impact that needs to be had. The documentary begins with this archived footage of the immediate aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. You see the city inundated with these floodwaters. You see people, primarily young kids, that are being helicoptered off rooftops. As you were making this, was it hard to go back and, and look at that video? I mean, I'm, I'm even getting chills right now. Oh, yeah, it's 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 incredibly difficult. You know, yeah. um, I'm, I'm, I'm super close to this footage. I'm super close to this project, the ideas, the uh, topics, you know, many people in this footage, you know, I, I, I actually know. So it was definitely, you know, um, important that I take care of myself while I was making this film. But I also thought that it was important that we, you know, put some of this footage to use so that we can really see what happened in 2005 when it came to black people in New Orleans. The term resilient, it gets thrown around a lot when talking about kids and how they're affected by trauma. Sometimes, though, when you use the word resilient, a childhood trauma could be overlooked because you say the kids are, in fact, so resilient. So in this documentary, you touch on this, that in America, you said, especially during a disaster, black children are not even a thought. You went on to say that Hurricane Katrina was no different. So tell me what you mean. Yeah. You know, there's a double-edged sword of resilience. You know, mm -hmm. I think that... I think that being resilient is something that we should be absolutely proud of. We should celebrate it, and mm -hmm. we should we should we should lean on it when we need to. But I do think that it's dangerous when it's used in the wrong hands. You know, I think that sometimes when it's when it's being you know um, I guess projected towards us, it makes us steer away from who needs to be held accountable. What do you hope to see for the future of not just Katrina babies, but also the ways in which we consistently care for our youth during times of crisis? I just, you know, I just hope that we just talk to the children and like and like start conversations with the children, even if we, you know, feel that they may not understand what's going on, you know, in that moment. It's important that we start these conversations and teach them and I like give them the tools to uh, to uh, deal with their trauma once it's servicing. You know, right now we're in a pandemic, you know, so how is this pandemic impacting the children? You know, like I think that years from now, you know, I don't want another film you know, to have to come out like this to start a conversation years later, we should be doing that right now. Yeah, let our kids have a voice, right? Absolutely. Edward, yeah, thank you so much for joining us, Edward. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And Katrina Babies is available to stream on HBO Max. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.